There's, no, there's nothing wrong with the buffer periods, right? Going back to the tight ends and going back to Dick Grayson. He was who he was. He just didn't know who he needed to be. He didn't know who he wanted to be. He didn't want to be Robin. He was a cop, but he quit the force. So he's it was, um, you know, the first two seasons, we're watching that buffer period where he just doesn't know what to do with his life. And I think the course, the course is like maybe two or three months. And he has the luxury, right? You know, he comes from comes from money, so he has the luxury to do that. Most of us don't have that luxury. But you make time in between, right? That's starting a day with yourself. Balancing it, right? Like, there's again, there's days where I read. There's days where I run. Days where I just go for a walk. And on the walks, you know, I just record. I uh, just think things through. Process. Then when I get home, some type of whatever beneficial and motivational energy that I pulled from that walk or run transfers into my day. Little by little, little by little. That's a buffer period, right? You're sleeping. Your brain is just on autopilot doing whatever it does. And you wake up. And do you buffer? Do you transition into more of the external influence, influencing you and telling you what to do, telling you how to think, telling you how to feel? Or do you say, how, how do I feel? Before I establish how the world wants me to feel, right? Before I establish how media, how friends on social media, the news, the president, war wants me to feel, how do I feel? How do I want to feel? Right? When I when I pick up the uh, I'm reading Nemesis by Isaac Asimov. I pick that book up for inspiration and to kind of escape. I want to feel inspired. I want to feel drawn into characters. I want to feel hopeful about the potential of humanity. That's 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 how I feel some mornings and my choice is to read the book to kind of fulfill that energy to fill that void